Here in the Pacific Northwest, we love salmon. Oh man, I love salmon. Oh, I know, right? So good. And when it comes to restoring salmon populations, we've been hard at work. But the reality is, we're not doing enough to protect salmon habitat. Wait, what? What's going on? Yeah, I thought we fixed that. Actually, in many parts of the region, we're losing the battle for salmon recovery because it isn't just one problem, but many problems. Salmon are facing challenges from every direction. Well, like what? What do you mean? Like from sharks? For example. Salmon problems. Example one. Stormwater runoff from our yards and roadways is flushing pollutants into the rivers and streams that salmon depend on. Salmon problems. Example two. Poorly designed culverts under public roads and private property are preventing fish from accessing their historical spawning grounds. Salmon problems. Example three. As our communities grow, deforestation and development continue to encroach and destroy critical salmon habitat. Take any one of these issues and the impact is significant, but add them together and the impact is catastrophic. Many species of salmon in the region are at risk of being lost forever. Game over. Oh man. That's unacceptable. We can't lose salmon. Yeah, what, what can we do about this? There are many people working hard to address these challenges facing salmon. Northwest Treaty Tribes are leading this effort and are committed to restoring salmon runs across the region. Really? What do tribes have to do with salmon? Salmon have been at the center of tribal culture for thousands of years and remain a huge part of their traditional diet and economy. In treaties made with the U.S. government in the 1800s, tribes in western Washington gave up their native lands to preserve their right to harvest salmon. And as they work to protect their own salmon rights, their investments in salmon recovery benefit everyone. Huh. Well, that's cool. So what kind of stuff are they doing? Northwest Treaty Tribes have voluntarily reduced tribal harvest in some areas by as much as 80% over the past 30 years. Whoa! That's a lot of fish. They've restored thousands of miles of habitat through partnerships to clean up urban streams, replace failing culverts, and plant hundreds of acres of new forests. Oh, sweet. Well, that's gonna help, right? It does, and we all have a part to play. We must continue to work together to make sure we prevent salmon from losing more habitat. Okay, so tribes are using treaty rights to protect natural resources for everyone. Nice. That sounds awesome. Together, all of us in the Northwest can help make sure our salmon are here for generations to come. Yeah, we can support Northwest salmon by supporting Northwest treaty tribes. We're all in this together, 